I'm gonna have a lot of uh, unpopular takes this evening. I wanted to share this video that I happened to see on X, Twitter, whatever the heck. Um, it, it's about uh, game publishers and game developers. Uh, wow, you guys, you know, you got a really good game here. It seems like you paid a lot of attention to detail and you all really cared about this game. There is passion in this room. Thank you so much, yeah. We just worked really hard, man. I don't know how we pulled it off, but yeah. the team, the team is yeah, amazing. Half can't of even... What? Yeah. Remove half of the game. Then we'll send back to them as DLC. What? No, we can't. Do it. We'll drip feed them content that's already in the game. <laughs> but they'll blame us. I mine. don't care. <laughs> they'll hate us. Money. We can't. <laughs> so uh, as goofy as this is, this kind of sparked up something that I wanted to talk about, which is basically all the new games that are coming out now. I have seen so much drama and bull crap that has been getting posted online about all these games that get published and like they were saying they're like i i know it's kind of just silly but what they're talking about or kind of referring to is just how game developers are treating uh certain parts of their games now and that is in reference to um tarkov escape from tarkov I guess they had a DLC that was actually already in the game, or I don't really know the exact details of it, but basically they turned a DLC into a whole brand new paid game that you have to pay for. And it's it's so stupid, in my opinion, that everybody gets so damn money hungry. All these developers and all these uh, like game companies and stuff, they're always getting so money hungry. And they're just taking the fun out of games. I personally don't really give a shit. I just want to play certain games that I think that are actually fun. That's why I have played just Honkai Star Rail, to be honest with you. Let, let, let me give you a little bit of context. I used to be a huge, huge, huge Call of Duty player. My main games that I've always played have been Call of Duty. I've played a lot of Mario games. I delved into Fortnite for a little bit, but then I realized that was just god-awful. I mean, I may just jump into it from time to time, but that's not a game that I'm really wanting to focus on, like, really at all. Um, but those are, like, the main games that I have always played. And I noticed that there were a lot of things that I didn't really care for in Call of Duty. The storyline was just getting old. And it was something that I wasn't really interested in anymore. I didn't really care about a lot of their uh, main story storylines and stuff. And so I just stopped playing the game. I know there's a whole new Call of Duty out right now. And I know I can get it so that way I can play with my friends. But it's just like, mm, mm, don't really care. Like I said, Fortnite, mm, don't really care. Nintendo has been acting really strange. Well, I mean, obviously it's Nintendo. They just take the fun out of all the damn games. Which is really sad because I grew up with Nintendo games. I grew up with Mario. And it makes me so mad that those games I want to play so goddamn bad. But the company is shitty as hell. And it's not necessarily like I have to take how the company is to, to you know, determine if I'm going to play the game or not. I already have Mario games and stuff like that here. And if I want to play them, then I'll play them. However, I don't like a lot of these shady practices that these companies have, and so I don't really want to support it. And I really, really hate looking at Twitter or YouTube or Twitch or in any of these live streaming or uh, video uh, producing websites... I, I hate looking at them and seeing that all these people are so upset about these games and all they're just doing is just complaining about it and bitching about it. And it's just the same thing over and over and over and over and over. And it gets hammered in so much and it just drives me up the goddamn wall because it's always the exact same thing. Oh my God, I have to pay $70 for this game. I have to pay $80 for this game. I have to pay $90 for this game. I got to pay $100 for the early access, I gotta pay $150 for the early access. Nobody is forcing you to play the goddamn game. All these people are so upset that these games are so goddamn expensive. And believe me, I agree. I don't like that these games are so damn expensive. That's why I don't buy them. Honkai Star Rail is free. 
That's why I play that. Whenever it came to Mario games, if it's a Mario game that I already have, which usually consists of Super Mario 64 or Super Mario Odyssey or Super Mario Sunshine, anything like that, I will make videos on that. But guess what? I already own those games. Those games have already been purchased. And those games were not anywhere near $70. Now, whenever it comes to the free games, if I decide that I want to purchase something with the free game, then fine. I like Honkai Star Rail, so I can honestly see me purchasing something in the game at a later time. Because I like the game, and I don't mind paying a certain amount for those games. I'm not going to get like addicted to it like everybody keeps talking about. I know Tectone has had like all these people bitching about him being addicted to these games and stuff. I know there's a bunch of other content creators that go on there, and they're always sitting there just trying to do all these pulls. And over and over and over and over and over trying to get these characters and stuff like that. And it's just like, no, I, I don't want to do that. I just want to have fun with the game. I honestly think that if people had that mentality whenever it comes to these games, they would have a better time playing games. Yes, it is bullshit that these games are $70, $80, $90. But you don't have to buy them. The other thing, too, is that these games are $70, $80, Because that's how it's going for game development now. It's not like it's a huge surprise. I mean, okay, 10, 15, 20 years ago, games were like $30, $40. And then if you wanted the like uh, early access to it or the one that has the extra DLC in it that you don't have to actually buy later on, you could just purchase it right whenever you get the game, that was $40, $50, $60, dollars now it's jumped up to $70, and so now that early access content or whatever the hell goes all the way up to $120. Well, guess what? Here in about 10 to 15 years, games will be $100 a pop, and that early access stuff will be $150 to $200. Bucks, I guarantee you. But guess what? They shit out these games, and people still buy them. Whether you think that it's right or not, you still buy it. I hate to say it, but whenever these people come online and they're just like, Oh my god, these games are so expensive. Oh my god, this is so awful. I hate that everybody keeps making these games uh, the, the way that they are. Oh, and now we get $250 DLC or whatever. It's just so stupid. It's so stupid. You don't have to buy the game. Don't buy the goddamn game. I'm going to look at this Escape from Tarkov thing. And I know that Asmongold has already... uh made a video on it but i kind of want to see just for myself what is going on with this dlc escape from tarkov fans are outraged at new 250 dollars pay to win edition now that the edition has launched fans are not happy with the bonus it gives and the massive 250 dollars price tag so guess what guess what hot take right here i'm not gonna buy the goddamn game why in the hell would i decide to spend 250 doubloons on a game that it's just like in my opinion it's just like any other shooter game I get pay seventy dollars and get Call of Duty multiplayer and still have the same shit players on the exact same shit servers that I would with shitty ass Escape from Tarkov even uh what, what's his name Dr. Lupo even said that there's even cheaters that are all over here on Escape from Tarkov why do I want to deal with that why does anyone want to deal with that? Everybody is so upset about it, and it's just like, okay, don't buy the game. I understand that it's great. And believe me, I also know there's going to be people saying, oh, well, you like Mario so much, and if they put a giant-ass price tag on that game, oh, you would be so upset. Yeah, I'd be upset, but guess what? I wouldn't buy the goddamn game. It's that simple. If you don't want it, and you don't want to support having to pay a shit ton of money for a goddamn game, then don't spend the money on it. That's simple. Play free games. I know that all all these game companies have all these free games. Call of Duty has Warzone. Apex Legends is available. Fortnite is available. Yeah, they all have their issues and stuff like that too, but guess what? All you gotta do is download the goddamn thing and play it. In fact, I'll even tell you this. Me and my ex-roommates always played Rocket League. Rocket League was always this big game that we always wanted to have time to play. I played it before it became free. So I've owned the game from the square one. But even then, the game was not that expensive. 
And then whenever it became free to play, it's just like, oh, okay. This is pretty fun. It's free. All you gotta do is download it, boot it up. It's all good to go. No big deal. Play games like that. Support the companies like that. Yeah, sometimes the companies do shady things, and if you don't like it, well, then move on to a different game. It's that simple. I, I understand that everybody gets so upset about all these games being the prices that they are. And believe me, it's ridiculous. Why the fuck would anyone want to pay $250 for a goddamn video game that you could have been playing just ha as it is? I don't know if Escape from Tarkov is free, nor do I fucking care. But $250 for a goddamn game? Come on, man. Come on, that is so stupid. Believe me. I'm not saying that the, what these companies are doing is right, but just don't buy it. It is so simple. Just don't buy it. I'm so tired of seeing people complain about it and they're like, oh, well, now I'm going to have to spend it. No, you don't have to spend shit. Don't buy it. Just don't buy the goddamn game. Simple. End of story. Period.